I really didn't think I was going to make it. On the night of November 16, 2016, Karen Osborne stepped out of her Frederick, Maryland home and into immediate danger. She came face to face with an angry black bear after she unknowingly walked between the full-grown female and her three cubs. The bear has attacked me. I'm laying in the driveway. What, did, what attacked you? Bear, and he's still here. Please help me. Okay, Please what help is, me. What is Please her name, ma'am? Karen Osborne. Please come now. Please come now. Send someone now. I'm being attacked by this bear. He's coming back. Hurry. He's, he's broken my arms and my legs. I can't move. And I'm bleeding. And I'm going to die. Please hurry. We are going to help as soon as possible. The attack that followed left her near death. Osborne suffered a black eye, a broken arm, and a broken pelvis. The attack went on for over 30 minutes and left her with broken teeth and covered in bite marks. She was hospitalized for several days. Oh my God, here he comes. Oh my Lord, please check out no. Please check out no. How is so? Can you go away? Did you hear me? So we have help starting him. I'm gonna stay in line with you. Okay. No. He's coming back. He's getting ready to attack me again. Please tell my husband I love him. How long will it take them to get here? I don't know, man, they're coming as fast as they can. We have animal control, police and the ambulance in route. I heard this horrendous growling and I turned to look at it and the bear came out on two feet and she grabbed me by my face and she threw me to the ground and then she came around behind me and grabbed my arm and bit it in half. Osborne told media at the time that the bear came at her four separate times and from three different directions. Then she came back around again and grabbed the top of my head with her teeth and then she started to try and go for my neck and I tried to kind of protect my neck. So I hit her four times, she told us. I tried to hit her really hard to get her to go away, and it didn't work. Then she came around another time. The last time she attacked me, she put her paw on my back and kept trying to bite at me. Every time I moved, she would start to come and attack me. I could feel her breath. I think she stopped because she was tired. He cannot come here. The bear will attack him. Oh my God, he's circled around in front of me again. He's trying to kill me. Is this silence for me? Please? It, they should be, if you can hear the sirens. Yes. Thank God. They're gonna run over me. They're gonna run over me. You okay, see them coming I, down the lane? He's right here in front of me. And where's the bear now? I don't know. He was in front of me, circled around from back to in front of me. Um, okay, but so now you have the sheriff's department on scene, right? Yes, sir. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Your voice is helping me to keep from... Yes, sir? I've been attacked by a bear. He's around here someplace. I'm, I'm all... My arms are broken. My leg is broken, I think. I'm chewed up on the back, on my head. I'm very bad, sir. Sir, he came from over here. He circled around me 10 times, and he's tried to re-attack me twice. I finally found my phone on the ground and called 911. I've been laying here for an hour. What he broke my arm. He broke my leg. He bit my head, my face. Okay, Karen, are they there with you? I'm in extreme pain. Okay. I broke my back several years ago, so I have a back problem anyway. Okay. I think he bit me in the eye. I'm in trouble here. I'm a mess. Okay. My husband lives next door. The dog is in the yard to the left. His name is Bruce. If you could get him inside. Yeah, inside. Tell him you're going to give him a cookie. Just open the front door. It's open. Okay. 
Osborne remained curled up in the fetal position until she finally managed to call 911. She was lucky to survive the attack. According to information from the National Park Service, the way you respond if you are involved in a bear attack could mean the difference between life and death.